Hello everyone. Let me make sure that this is working here. So let's see. I think it is. So let's see. Hmm. Well, I think it is. Okay, I think we're on. So let's get started with this. I'm going to put that there to watch for the computer and so on. So today it is mother of pearl and oh well I should talk to you in face to face right that's why okay so welcome to lunchtime it's going to be um, really a tip video how to do uh, mother of pearl I used to do that on glossy paper and today we're going to do it on shimmer paper um, it's very simple I didn't add the shimmer paper or the pearl the frost white paint the pearl paint i'm going to add that after so it's easy link for you to order them it is a fun technique and really you have to try it to see the wow effect because with the lights of the camera and so on it's not a true statement put it that way it is very beautiful so I'm going to share that today, but before we get started, please, ears on me, tomorrow, so today we are Tuesday, March 16th, so tomorrow, March 17th, St. Patty's Day, or St. Patrick, whatever you call it, it is free shipping on all order of $50 and above before tax. So it doesn't matter if your order it's $200 or $50, $58, you're going to get free shipping. This is only March 17th. It starts, let's say tonight, at 12.01 Mountain Time till tomorrow night at 11.59 Mountain Time. So we're talking about Mountain Time. So this is free shipping. It's been a long time we didn't have free shipping. So it's a very short period. Make sure that you uh, get your order ready. Tell your friends. It's a great time to get your inventory list. Let me share with you my inventory list. I use my inventory list all the time. Here it is. So you see my inventory list you can print your own inventory list if you go at frenchystamps.com let me bring this here frenchystamps.com and at the top it says print out oh let me tell you exactly the word of it so if you're on a pc let's close this here so let me tell you here <clears throat> On a PC, you're going to go at the top where it say uh, chart stamping 101. And then if you scroll, you're going to find the inventory list or the color uh, list. Or in um, like a mobile device, it's all the way at the bottom or you get the little lines. If you click the little lines, then you're going to see the printing, the chart 101. So you can print your chart, mark what you get on hand, if you don't want to order devil, and see what you're low on. It's a great time to uh, stock up on free shipping. 10% make a difference, right? So that start, let's say, tonight at 12.01 uh, till tomorrow. Only 24 hours, really, of free shipping. So make sure you keep that in mind. So let me flip you down and I'm going to share with you how to do Mother of Pearl. <coughs> I got a frog in my throat. Okay, I think that now my lightning, it's much better. I think it was my cover. I had changed my cover to a dark cover and I think that was playing a big factor in my light. 
so we're gonna get started so if you can see here see so i know that i use a lot of this so the the seashell the embossing folder right now it's not orderable because it's too many on back order and when they reach a certain amount they turn the number off the inventory uh, report so it should be back in uh, stock at the end of the month but note that you still can have the bundle let me share the bundle <clears throat> So you can have the bundle here, you can have the stamp set and the die, but it is low inventory. So I would say order your bundle now because it's a good chance that if you wait, by the time that the folder is back in stock, this is going to go go back order or not orderable so it is a hot ticket it's like grandma's paint cake or whatever bread it is selling faster we can bring it out of the oven so this is available right now but this year show that's going to be at the end of the month back in stock okay i thought the mother of pearl looked amazing on this you can see this it's just beautiful now I got this one here. I cut those leaves or feathers, and then I get the background that I emboss with the painted 3D uh, painted texture uh, 3D embossing folder. I done it also, and this year you're gonna take think it's like a peachy color, but this was. Can you guys guess which color that I use? Kablooey, it was blushing bright. That was the one. I try it on regular cardstock, and that's do it completely different look. It don't look like a mother of pearl. But if you like that on color cardstock, whatever I'm gonna teach you today, you can do it on the color cardstock. So that's why I decided to brought uh, that in over here. And then see, this was an easel here. Okay now you can see the paper here oh it is can you see all that shiny and that color of like the blues and the pink and a bit of yellow in a mother of fur i wanted to bring my ring and i forgot so let's get started we can um just use regular cardstock okay if you want to stamp in the back you have to stamp first very important that you stamp first you know what we're going to do two let me uh because i'm not really doing a card i'm just sharing so let me do two here if you guys are in the rush you can come back later and watch it all but you know what i want to do two um Okay, I got another piece of shimmer paint, uh, shimmer paper here. And yes, this is stamping up paper. I will add the number. It's white shimmer cardstock. Let me bring a stamp set. I love this um, very versatile for this stamp set. The reason it's because it looked at vintage with the mother of pearl. So what I done over here. I use the script and I'm going to be using instead of a crumb cake I'm going to use Sarah sand this time okay and I didn't even measure that because I'm going to do something something so I'm going to stamp that right here and I'm going to come right here and then I won't even re-ink. I'm going to put a bit there and a bit there. Now I'm going to use the leaf and the leaves in this here. And I'm going to stamp that with, hmm, let's think. I'm going to use um, mint macaron. So I'm going to go going to stamp that right here and you know what I need to trim that because I'm going to do a card after we're done and you guys are going to see it on my 
blog posts. So let me trim this right now at four. Okay, five. So we're going to go at three and three quarter. So that way my grading going to show. So if you want to stamp a grading directly, you want to stamp your grading before you add your shimmer. The only thing that's going to absorb on the shimmer paint, it would be stays on. So let's say you don't want black or we get the brownish. You want to stamp before you add your shimmer paint. So I'm just going to use all this stamp. I'm going to put always thinking of you. And we're going to stamp that, and I want that in brown. So I'm going to use Early Espresso, okay? I'm going to bring my Early Espresso over here. Thank you uh, for the one that are sharing with your friends. Thank you, thank you so much. And I'm going to bring that right here. I'm going to give a good press on it so I get a deep uh, grating there. Et voila. Okay, so now this year need to really dry out before we could do the next step, okay? So that's what I prep over here. Now, after that would be dry, now we're going to use just a plain one like I use on this one, like I use on the shelves also. I like to use a wax paper. And this has got a little kind of a ball in there. You want to make sure you shake that well. Shake it, baby. And you're going to put over here. Oops. Well, we're going to do a few. That's good. Now you're going to take a saran wrap, and that can be a cheap saran wrap. Don't have to be an expensive one, no press and seal or whatever, just a clear wrap, okay? Food safe. <clears throat> and you're going to take this, and you're going to crunch it. You want some different texture in this, okay? Now you're going to take this tap over here, and tap here. And tap. So the reason why you want the ink to dry completely before you do that, because it could bleed the ink. And you don't want to cover the whole thing, because if you cover the whole thing, you won't have the mother of pearl look. So this here, I would put that aside and let it dry. I'm going to move that aside here, and we're going to let it dry. Now, I think that would be enough. Now I can go ahead and do with this one. Oops, sorry. See, it's not quite dry, my always. I got a bit of brown going through. We're going to still. So you just add a little bit of that pearl here and there. Boys, it's okay. It's the neighbor walking. Here we go. Now, I got that shimmer all over it. Okay, another thing that you can do with that shimmer paint that I think look very, very lovely is just directly on paper. Let me bring a piece of scrap paper here. And I'm going to use a dark color because I think that's going to show better in the camera. You can emboss it if you want. Uh, dry emboss, you know, like I did with the other one. Or you can leave it like this. Now, I like to use a dauber. And... You can spread it if you want, or you can just uh, tap it, whatever look that you want. You're going to have to let it dry before you, let's say, emboss. You can emboss first, or you can emboss after. Personally, I like to emboss first. It's because it gives more character if I want it to emboss, okay? So let me just spread this here. 
And the reason why I like a dauber better than uh, the blending brush or the the big sponge, it's because I waste less of this shimmer paint. You see, because if you get a big brush, it's going to soak in the brush. If you get a big, um, let me think, if you get a big uh, sponge or brush, like I said, it's just absorbed. It looks blotchy. Don't worry about that. When it dry, it's going to look pretty so let me share with you how it is on a color cardstock and i get three colors to share let me move this aside here and here is one that i done you can see that shimmer there the more i move it so this was blushing bright this was our uh, pretty i think that was pretty petal pink I think that was petal pink well let me tell you here it is no bl blushing bright blushing bright it is okay so it is blushing bright so saffron and then mint macaron see how pretty that is so you can have any type of shimmer uh, color card stop you just brush your frosted white paint on it but really today it was about the mother of pearl so after that you put this and you let it dry like this one i wanted more a background in the back of it so that's you know i stamp on it and then we put our um, our paint now you i like to use pool party so saffron and then pure pizzazz and really if you want you can skip pool party because yellow and green make blue now let me bring brush here i mean not brush but uh, sponge i like to use sponge with this just because i'm used with the punch oh we need a pink so i'm gonna skip the pool party and i'm gonna bring the blushing bright so i'm gonna go ahead and start with you think these add blue but no they're wash okay so i'm gonna start with so saffron and just add bits and pieces here and there like i said this one i stamp in the back <laughs> hey hey no it's not somebody walking it's a cat no no i am so sorry it's a loose cat chasing a dog this is ridiculous up there oh it's always interesting going live huh okay i will put the dog out not loose after the other one but it, we get fed so one second Okay, I'm back. This is so funny because I was just running there laughing. I'm like, what else could happen when I go live, right? I think it's so funny. I, we have to laugh at that. We cannot get upset just because, right? It's just part of life going live. Okay, so I have the So Saffron. Now we're going to add the Blushing Bride. And the Blushing Bride, I like to use more of that color than any of the other color. Because I think a Mother of Pearl does have quite a bit of the pink tone to it. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of green. Very little. And some of it are going to go on top of where I had my yellow. No, not pink. It was um, not green. I wanted blue, so that's going to make pink, silly me. Okay. Okay, now I got pool party. Here we go. So just add a little bit. You don't want nothing too heavy. This is a little bit too dark, but you get the jig of it. See? 
et voila so now this is ready to i can die cut it if i want or i can um I can uh, make a card, but if I wanted a greeting right on it, what's going to happen if I would stamp directly, it won't show on top of, um, let me show you one here. So I get one here. So see what's going to happen here. If I stamp this, and I'm going to go here, so I'm not wasting my pretty paper here. I'm going to go there, stamp that there. Well, what's going to happen the minute that you're going to touch that, where you get the shimmer paint, see, it won't absorb really there. It's really, you pretty much need, um, stays on to absorb on top of the shimmer paint. It, it's kind of a gloss. So <clears throat> the best thing to do is stamp before you put your paper, your paint. And you see, this is already dry now. So I could, that's the one we stamped together. So I could go and add some color. This one, I'm just going to add a little bit of the blue and a bit of the pink. I'm going to skip the yellow, okay? I just gonna skip the yellow on this one, make it very soft. So you just wanna add a little bit of those colors. Et voila. So now I can go and just mount that. I'm gonna add a ribbon at the bottom of this. And the best ribbon, I think, for mother and pearl would be that lace ribbon. Don't you think this is gonna look perfect with that? It's going to be great. So, very simple. Like I said, picture, don't do justice. One thing you want to do after you sponge, though, take a rag and just wipe so then you don't get your uh, and because where the ink was on top of the shimmer paint, like I said, it don't really absorb there. So, let me share like this one here. So, you're going to just wipe this up. So you see, the paint, it's still that shimmer. The ink don't absorb on the paint. It's just go where you didn't have uh, paint. That's why you want to use crunch this so it don't cover the entire sheet. It's not like when you do the color cardstock. So you see this as it dry, it get, now I'm going to emboss this. It's going to be, now it's ready to emboss. Let me emboss this. Okay, this time I use the textured, um, tasteful text textile and see it was already dry and boom. So I still have a little bit of blotch, but now it's going to get a lot more soft. So you just want to brush it soft like this here. Light color, really, it's more forgiving, put it that way. But today was about the mother of pearl this is a must try it is gorgeous let me i don't know how much you can see see all that pearl to it it is gorgeous i think this one you can see very lovely and of course this make the shelf beautiful so that was it for today i hope that um oops let me go back here that give you something fun to play with um if you look in my video you can put mother of pearl you're gonna have quite a bit more video popping in for the mother of pearl like i said this is not the first time i've done that to be honest i think it's one of the first technique that i did like 10 years ago
it's about that old. But I used to do it on um, glossy paper most of the time. Shimmer pa uh, paper work wonderful also. It gives even more that shine to it. So that's about... Um, I, was, I thought I had a question there. So that is it for today. Don't forget, starting at midnight tonight, Mountain Time, free shipping. So this is just March 17, 2021. So if you watch the video down the road, you hear free shipping, know that this is free shipping. It is on all order of $50 and above before taxes that it's going on on March 17, 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now. Oops.